Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game No One Survived, and we are now in episode 23. Well, we really need to get a car. That's our issue today, and we have a way of doing that now. So, um, last... Oh, can you hear it? <coughs> it's annoying. So, <coughs> excuse me. Last episode, we managed to get some uh, batteries. Uh, and look at that, the first one's already fully charged. So, it's only a 120, not the 200, but that's pr still pretty good. Um, it's actually coming along quite, quite well. Now, I've got this noisy thing in the corner, so the fuel generator still has about 41 litres of fuel in it, so it's rocking away and generating a thousand watts. This little guy over here, um, it's kind of based on coal. It's doing 200 watts. It's about two-thirds of the way through its fuel. Um, so it's certainly helping. <coughs> and then, over here, um, we had to make this thing, right? And the reason being, the machining table is the only way that you can make uh, car repair kits. So if you have a look at the technology tree, um, this was the problem initially, the battery table. We've come through there, we've made the thermal generator, and we've made the fuel generator, so giving us some power that we can store. Um, there's a few other things over here, for example, that we can make as well, uh, like the f finally getting the cooking station. But if we make the machining table, which we have now, if you follow this down, we only need to make advanced parts and then we can start making our car repair kits. And the only problem with this was that it needed uh, two steel ingots. So, you know, the learning conditions is fine, it's just the materials. The only way that I could make two steel ingots was way over this right hand side here. I needed to make the electric furnace to be able to get steel ingots and um, down below here this is where I'd put the steel furnace so to make steel ingots you need three iron ingots and one aluminium ingot and I've got some already in here I have already made two steel ingots which I've put in the chest so uh, actually in fact you could probably because there's a fair bit of power there I could probably make another couple maybe I should so, another two. <coughs> it takes a while. You can see that little blue bar down the bottom, so it's sort of starting to move along. But it's always handy to have a couple of uh, spare, I guess. But now... i move over here a bit. So now I should be able to go to my technology tree and make advanced parts. And now I should be able to make the car repair kit in terms of this technology tree. If I just grab uh, three car spare parts, and I put them all upstairs here, so... Oh my goodness, we've got a lot. So, that's where the car repair car, uh, repair kits will go. Sorry, down the bottom. Car parts, look at this, we've got heaps. So, and that's because we've been, you know, look, looking through cars left, right and centre. So now, we should be able to confirm that. And we can put these car repair kits back. And now over here, this is like the advanced version of what we have downstairs. Oh, that's right, I left a fair few in here because to make one of these, um, you need ten. So, let's see if we can make a few of these. How many have we got in there? Four nines of thirty-six, so... Let's just make three of these. Oh, we haven't got that even connected yet, so... Power, connect to the battery one. Now we're cooking. So, three and a half thousand watts. That'll take a little bit of time. I have a feeling I probably need two. But we'll go ahead and make three. And then we can keep a bit of an eye on what the batteries are doing. Okay, see how it's taking some of the power from the first battery? <coughs> so 118, it'll go up and down like a yo-yo, I guess.
well it kind of did just then uh, there, there's like a polling period I guess when the power that's coming from the fuel generator and the thermal generator goes back into the battery and lifts it up and then there's a moment when the, the battery power is consumed by whatever you're processing there you go, it's gone back up to 118 then it'll probably drop down again as it's being consumed again Anyhow, the idea will be replacing all the green batteries with the orange batteries. So where are we up to? So it's already made one. So what we want to do is basically take a couple of repair kits um, over... Now, don't forget, there's a few different types of cars. Not every car, like every car you see on the road that's damaged that you go and loot, they're not the cars we're looking for. It's the ones that have kind of, you can't loot them and they've got a little bit of smoke coming out of the front. They're the ones we want to be able to grab. So, I think, um, what I'll probably need to do um, is grab two repair kits. I'll just wait for the second one to go and we'll grab a bit of fuel. Now, the funny thing is, have a look at this, right? So this one had oil and spare fuel in it. This has got mainly fuel in it. This has got fuel. This has got fuel, a lot. And then have a look at this. We've got 10 of the large barrels, and then we've got another five down here, so we've got an awful lot of fuel. Um, this one that's not really meant to have them in, I guess. Uh, we need space for the second one of them. Actually, if we do that... I'm just thinking that's easily enough fuel to get me back to the base here, like, and run around a bit, I suppose. <coughs> uh, what else do I need? Um, 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 how's that going now? Yeah, it's kind of almost even, isn't it, really? Alright, let's go grab the second repair kit. Can I fit them? Oh, I can fit them side by side. Oh, okay. Alright, it's just about to make the third one and then stop. So I'll have a spare one, basically. Um, so, the idea now is we will go... Uh, we're not using the cart. What we might do, though, is check on our food. Let's see if we can up this a little bit. And then we'll... It, don't forget, it's still early morning hours. Obviously, I've upped it a little bit. Uh, kind of don't really need need more water than anything else. Let's see if we can drink that. Now, we're going to probably arouse some attention here, so... Let's just go down and get ourselves clean. Oh, there's a storm. <laughs> Fantastic weather! A coal blitz. What's it say? Minus 13. Hang on, so what can we withstand? Minus 44 Celsius, that is. Well, okay. Alright, well, we're, we're okay. So, yeah, things like. Um, I should have grabbed one of the other foods. Hey, give myself a bit of a blitz. So, there's normally a car just over here. Not the most fantastic. Like a. Oh, no, kind of like a truck utility of some sort. Who comes down to the beach when it's minus 13 degrees and goes, Ah, lovely, I'll just refresh myself. So what's his condition now? Yeah, everything's pretty good. Alright. Oh, man. Alright, it won't take much for us to get in, repair the car, put some fuel in it, and come back to the base, but we definitely needed to, um to do that because there are so many places in this game that we can go and visit now that we've got a car coming kind of thing. In fact it would be handy to have a couple of cars just in case something goes wrong. But don't forget you've got to do exactly what I'm doing now. You've got to actually walk to the location where the car is. Let's get out a pistol just in case Bozo. And now there's one other thing you've got to realise too. As soon as I start the car engine lag there. As soon as I start the car engine they are going to go absolutely nuts and from quite a distance too so they, they can hear the car from miles around and they will be very very angry guys. Do you think, do you think 
they would learn, hey, there's a blizzard outside, I'm staying inside. You. Oh, what the crap was that? Well, any any of these guys um, which are close to me, I have to take them out, no matter what. Because around here, this is where the car is, just there. I don't want them around me while I'm doing this. So this is the car here. This guy. See a girl way down there. Hope you can hear me probably over this. <laughs> it's so loud. Anyway, all right. Where is it? Can I get to the? Hello. I can still hear somebody. Where are you? No, oh, he's a slow coach. I mean. Either that or he hasn't done. See me yet. I think he did see me. Oh, he gave me a pathogen. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, crap. Not so bad if they give you a pathogen. I'm not too fussed on whether they see a head rolling around on the ground there. Um, where's the thing coming up? Come on, you can do it. I want to enter the car, but. Oh, there you go. Alright, so where is it again? I think if you grab the car repair kit, uh, do you have to have it on you or in the car? I can't remember. I think you go here. No, sorry, there. Put in a car repair kit for repairs. So that's now 50%. So if I put another one in, now I'm 100%. And now I should be able to dump some fuel in and be able to drive the car back to the base. I mean, that's probably enough, well and truly, anyway, but. Anywho, so now we've got all this extra storage, so it's similar to the cart, basically. Um, so, just got to be a little bit careful here, because they will be hearing this all over the shop. Not really the best thing to do to drive kind of through the middle of town, but... And uh, I would advise... Um, Perhaps not trying to drive over them, so this guy's already heard me, and the other guy's heard me. They do eventually give up, and this does make it a little bit difficult, because um, I do need to kind of come down here and go through a driveway that's not marked. <laughs> anyway, this little dip, that's what I've been thinking is the best one to use, so we'll just go up here, around the back of the base here, and we should technically be far enough Oops, smack it in your car. Right. <coughs> okay, so uh, we now have a car and it is an absolute nightmare outside. Actually, that is a little bit too bright. I think. Alright, so what I might do, I'm going to go grab a little bit more fuel, fill up the car a bit more. So we can take out these guys. Get these smaller ones. Uh, hang on, where did I have the fabric? It was just here, wasn't it? So we'll throw that in. Whoops, throw that in there and get that out of the way. That's great, you know, but we could probably do without having to hear that. Alright, so this is a little bit mundane. I mean, I could go and grab the bigger ones, the ones that are the big barrels. And, you know, they do 10 litres at a time. So how close have we got here? 29? I mean, we might as well fill ourselves all the way up. Actually, hang on. On the map? Um, if I kind of almost have centred the map, um, there's a little rectangular white or grey building almost in the centre of the map, slightly to the left. That's the police station. That's absolutely chockers with... It's got guns, but it's just got a ton of ammo. And it's got a few, probably steel picks and things like that, that we need a little bit later on. So, if you have a look... Uh, where was it? Um, this guy. 
No, is it this guy? Hang on. This guy. I think. A drilling tool. I think. I think. I think. I think. One of them needed steel pickaxes. Which one am I thinking about? Oh, we need to get that going too. Oh, water storage unit, we need that as well. <laughs> Hang on a second, we should be able to build the water storage. And then we can go on to make ourselves a water purifier and a shower room and all that. But, I was actually going to put that on the third level. Remember, this was going to actually be the... Holy dilly. Noisy. Oh, that's noisy as well. Um, yeah, the third level is going to be the bedroom, but that's where it would be good to have a little cooking area, um, your shower, um, purified water, that kind of stuff, so you can kind of just get up, have something to eat, something to drink, get cleaned up, and then go out. I think that's the plan. Um, but, yeah, we're going to get more and more loot as we go out and get more stuff around the map, so we really need to look at extending the base out and putting some more levels on and stuff like that and dedicating certain areas to certain things I guess um, but let's see if we can continue filling up the car with a bit of extra fuel so which one is a mess they're okay that's a bit of a mess so that will go fairly close it's good though, I mean, in one way I'm doing this so that I can, um, kind of clean up the extra fuel area so when we get more, uh, more fuel, we can do more. I don't know if that makes sense. Got places to put it in storage, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll end up with 50 fuel. There you go. Oh my goodness, this is a long storm. Good grief. Just when you want to do stuff. Um, how are we going for stuff in here? It's... Oh wow, it's almost out. Uh, let's put this to, say, four. There you go, that'll keep it going for a little bit. Uh, we might... One upstairs for the thermal generator, we might be able to put another piece of coal in here. So a thousand and sixty, sixteen sixty, that'll keep it going a little bit. Our battery's doing... Oh, okay, so we're not generating anything. You can see how it's now filled the initial green battery back up again, and it's now 48 out of 200 for the orange battery. So as long as we keep these things fueled up, which you could probably go and grab a few more for this. Uh, keep it running. Uh, you can certainly be making things and building things, but you, you've got to keep an eye on all that, all those power bits and pieces. Um, I can't remember how many I was short of there, but that's, I think, 16. This is probably the one that's doing the most good, because it's a thousand watts, I guess. Uh, let's have a look. We're almost there. 48. So there's our last one. We'll just leave it like that. And then we can put four uh, back in the car. Come on, Storm. You don't have to go all the day. Man! Okay, so we basically have pretty much filled up our fuel for generating electricity. We have a car that's 100% fixed. Uh, it is very, very easy to damage the car, so it's not very strong. So don't hit zombies or anything, because they, they do a fair bit of damage as well. Uh, what we might do is grab a few more car parts. Uh, there you go. Down here, we can make it another two, say. So. How short am I? 18. Oh man. Alright, let's do it like this then. 
handy to have a few. We've got a chest for them, so we might as well make a few, I suppose. Okay, so how many got now? 45, is that right? Where is it? Down here. Car repair kit. We can make four. Cool. So we can go ahead and make those four, which will be really cool. Have a few spares. Food wise, this is kind of where I was heading before, so. Eat one of them, give ourselves a buff. What's the time? It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh, actually, we might want to carry, which is the highest one here, 35. Gee, they're not that great. Well, that one's high. Uh, how about one of these 50? Okay. Alright, and where's a decent... that's clean water... and that's clean water, okay. Um, <coughs> well, the problem is we kind of need to swap around a little bit, don't we, because... Uh, hang on. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this right. How high were the bags? I can't remember. So now we almost need to swap these things around. Water and food. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to bring the cart through. Uh, yeah, we will. Alright, how good are we at? Look at the suspension on this puppy, look at it. Look at that! Brilliant, brilliant. Alright. So, uh, let's have a look. Drop my own bag on the ground. Oh, it does fit in. Okay. Uh, that one. That one. Oh, white needs to do that. Throws them all over the place. So there's uh, three bags. Is there another one here? There you go. Oh no, I did have it right. Okay. Um. That one on the ground, that one on the ground. So, if we do this, now our car's got all the bags. And... Oh, I left it in here, didn't I? Quick. Uh, let's take... Oh, actually, I should take that and that. Okay. That's not a bad idea. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, the extra one of these can go there. <coughs> so I'm kind of pretty well prepared, actually. Um, the water... I don't need that much water. So one of these can go back in here. Gee, they're getting down a bit too, aren't they? Can't do much about that. Anyway, but it's good though we've got a car, which is absolutely fantastic. Put that back. still a little bit high because it's gone well and truly morning. Okay, so let's save the game. So what have we done? We've basically given ourselves a chance to drive a long distance and now go places and pick up loot, which is absolutely fantastic and it'll it'd certainly speed things up a little bit, but the one place I'd like to do is that police station. That would be awesome. Um got to be careful which way we go here, so I have to kind of travel to the left, so across these two brown bridges, I think. Um, 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 it's not the nicest thing to be travelling during the day, to be honest. Um, I'm just thinking what we can squeeze in for this episode. Let me just make sure that I've got plenty of stuff cooking here. So, copper, copper, aluminium, aluminium. Okay, so that's going. Um, everything is filled up as much as it can be, I suppose. Eh, not doing too bad. That's still well and truly filled up, which is fantastic. That'll keep the power coming in until we can get solar panels and whatnot. Um, I normally don't carry this, the car repair kits on me. I know it's good to have them here at the base. 
Um, but yeah, we're just basically looking for a lot more loot. Um, is there anything in this hierarchical tree that we're missing? There's bound to be, but... So can we make that? We might try to do a little bit around the house to the end of this episode. Then next episode we'll head out and try to get some, some good loot, especially the police station. So can we make this? Uh, okay, the learning conditions are fine. Advanced parts by three. We've got heaps. And then, is it the water storage blueprint? There you go, water storage. Okay, so, question is, where do we put it? Um, I am not building um, down in this area, these quarters. They do different things, so I think... Uh, one of these, either this corner here, or the corner up there, was meant to have, like, the garage and because it's closest to the driveway, if that makes sense. So we might not touch too much in this corner at the moment. Um, probably this corner down here. I mean, we could put stuff in between here, but it's a bit tight. Uh, so there's another building going just here, but nothing here. So some of this white water infrastructure and stuff can probably just go straight here. Um, let's have a look. we actually learn it? We haven't learned it yet, have we? So... There you go. And now, if I try building... There's the water storage unit. Look at the stuff that it requires, though. Holy dooly! Alright. So... Uh, which is... That's kind of straight, isn't it? Alright, we might put it, say... I want to keep it fairly close to the main base, because it'll have to be fairly close for the, where the water's going to be used and so on. Um, oh my goodness, 10 steel ingots. And some more parts. Wow, okay. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time to do anyway. So, we've got two... We need more iron, so let's take 10 iron out, and 10 aluminium. Actually, what did it use more of? The iron ingots, didn't it? So, let's take out a few more of them. So, can... How many did we have? Make six, that's two in there. There's silver. So we actually need another two, is that right? Can we make another two? Cool. So when that's finished we'll have ten steel ingots, so that's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm glad we got that started. Um, hang on, I just need to grab... ...drink water. The rest of my food and stuff should be pretty good. Okay, and now, let's see if we can fill this thing in. I can't remember how many it, whoop, it needed. Oh, electrical components, electrical wires. Oh wow, needs ten aluminium ingots. Oops, ten. Oh, grief. So didn't need them at all. Ten aluminium. Not sure if I've got that many actually. I'll take nine of them. I don't want to have to come back. Of, or did I have 10 left? Oh no, I had a lot of aluminium, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Alright, that'll get a bit more of it done. We need a well as well. Um, three toolboxes. Oh, we do need rubber and plastic. Oh man! Alright. Uh, we do need a motor. Uh, we'll put these back. We will put these back. I didn't 
exactly see how much we needed, but maybe if we do that, rubber, plastic, it's a pretty long list of stuff, it's hard to remember everything in this list, but, okay, charcoal, need nine charcoal and three toolboxes. Do I have enough toolboxes though? Oh wow, just enough. That's lucky. So there you go, on our list now when we're out um we're out shopping. It'll be like, yep, we need a lot of toolboxes again. Oops. Oh it's charcoal trip, not coal. Keep getting those mixed up. Alright, this guy over here, the furnace has still got the charcoal. So then we can put everything back and wait for the steel to come around. So we just need the ten steel ingots. Okay, so let's put all the stuff back that we didn't need. So, rubber in there, plastic, oops, in there. I don't think we really have a box for coal because oh, we we're putting some down here, I think. Yeah, wow. There's a lot there. But it wasn't really a dedicated box, so to speak. Alright, so the extra ones of these can come out. So far, five. Actually, that's kind of working overtime to generate that. What's the battery doing? Oh no, it's holding up. Well, that's that's pretty good to know. All right, so we're halfway through the steel ingot creation. Another five to go, and we'll have our water storage. Oh, I just noticed the storm slowed down a bit. Alright, let me go over here where it's a bit quieter. So, in terms of blueprints, we actually need the well as well. Oh, it's the drilling tool. No? We need another steel ingot to make the drilling tool. And then once we've got the drilling tool... Oh, hang on a second. I think... Oh, I think what you'll find is this is just the blueprint so when we go into the machining table to make the drilling tool that's when it needs two steel ingots okay alright so we do need actually to make more steel ingots than what's being made at the moment at least another one how many more will it let me make three two I'm getting even more Actually, I might remove these guys and see if I can get it to make more ingots, uh, more iron ingots, that is. Because we've got a ton, we've got a ton of aluminium ingots, but not a lot of iron, so we'll keep focusing on that, I think. Alright, so that'll take a little bit of time. Anyway, so, yeah, so we're heading down this path now um, of getting water, so we'll need to put a well maybe the well can go next to this thing here um, but like I said yeah I need a few more of those steel ingots anyway we're doing pretty well um, what I might do is have to finish the episode here I will off camera finish off the steel and get a few more things done in terms of the water but next episode what I really want to do is to get moving over towards that police station and loot it from memory, there's an absolute ton of stuff there, so I'm sure I'm going to fill up the boot on the car, all my luggage, it'll, all my bags, all my bags will be full coming back, I'm sure. Alright people, I hope you've enjoyed today, we've got a fair bit further, we've got a little broom broom now, so not fantastic, but it'll do. Um, and we're well on our way to getting some more infrastructure built around the base. So I hope you've liked today's episode, if you have, please go ahead and support the channel by smashing the like button, and if you haven't already subscribed, 
you can really help the channel out by subscribing. Alright, thanks everyone. Cheers.